Hi guys, welcome to video 2. So, today I did get a chance to play a bit of poker. This morning I woke up and I ended up playing a 360 man tournament. Now, I was figuring out how to use the screenshot and screen recording and I managed to do it. And so I was talking through for the whole hour and 15 minutes and then at the end of it I was like, oh yeah, it's all good. There was no sound recorded, so I was basically talking to myself for an hour and 15 minutes. Not so much fun. But the result, so out of the 360 people, I ended up coming 28th, so I did get paid, but obviously first is always better. So I spent 50 cents to buy in, and then I came back with a return of $1.80. Yay! <laughs> Uh, but it was really good because when I recorded it and when I was talking and going through the thought process uh, I found that really helped and it's been I don't know five days since I played last so anyway following on from last time I was going to tell you the definition of uh, a rail bird or when you rail someone so when you get to the final table of a poker table you have this rail that goes across and then you have people standing behind it and these are the people who are supporting those playing on the table so like I was saying this guy his name is Ted now he's my rail bird so they call them rail birds and sometimes they can be a bit rude and call them rail bitches. well yeah <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he, he's he's one of my railers. I have a few others who I'll slowly introduce, but say hi. Hi. So yeah, he was there watching me play today. And just on another note, tonight I went to Crown and I was going to play some poker. So I go there and I you have to put your name down. So I put my name down, obviously the minimum that you can buy in, which is $60, which is still a lot, uh, $1, $2. Blinds. Anyway, I was waiting for about 15, 20 minutes and I still wasn't called and, and I had to go home. But anyway, I found out minimum buying is $60 and maximum is $80. So if you ever go to Crown to play, or just if you go anywhere to play, you should always bring in the maximum buy-in just because it's kind of a scare tactic as well. So when you start playing poker and things, uh, if someone has a bigger chip stack than you, they can easily just wipe you out. And you, you'll see the dynamics of the game when I show you the past hands I've played. So the next video I'm going to load up is the one where I'm actually playing. And I'll have to re-record what I was saying previously. The next definition I wanted to go through was the different types of players. There are two types of ways you can describe poker players. They either play loose or they play tight. So I'll go through that through the next session. I'll see you next time. Bye!